I hope you don't mind if I impose. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Video Editing Software Guide. That's right, it's me, your boy Malik, holding it down once again, bringing you the Power Director tutorials you know and love. Today we're going to talk a little bit about superimposing video, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that before we get started. There's two types of superimposed video. The first one is what most people call picture in picture. That's where you have a video serving as the background and it fills up the whole screen and then you have another smaller video maybe a box or a mask shaped like a heart or a flower or whatever and there's another smaller video showing in that smaller box or that smaller mask shape if you want to see a video on picture in picture then you can check out the info card at the upper right hand corner of the screen the second type of superimposed video is the one we're talking about today. And that's where you have two videos that are full screen and you can see through one video to the other. So let's get into it and show you how to get it done. Here we are in PowerDirector 13 Ultimate. I'm going to bring my first clip down into the timeline track. And this clip is the one that I'm going to have overlaying the other video. So I'm going to bring it to track two. And I would like to make this uh, video clip look a little bit bigger. So I'm going to place my cursor over the time and I'm going to hold down my left mouse. And I'm going to stretch this out to make this clip seem larger just so that I can work with it better. Then I'm going to take the clip that I want as the background clip. I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to drag it down into the timeline. And I'm going to move it over since this clip is smaller than the other one. I'm going to move it over till I see this black line at the end of the clip, which means that the end of both clips are lined up perfectly. And I'm going to let go of my left mouse. Now this bottom track, the one that is serving as the background, I don't need to do anything to it. But the clip that is overlaying that one, I need to do some adjustments to. So I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to leave my playhead at the beginning of the background clip because I want to start keyframing the opacity from this point. So I'm going to click on the keyframe button. And I'm going to click on clip attributes. And then for the opacity setting, I'm going to activate keyframes by clicking on the little diamond. And now you see there was a keyframe added where my playhead is, a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end. Right now, all of these keyframes are with opacity at 100%. So this first keyframe I need to leave as it is because I need the video to stay at 100% from the beginning all the way up to this point. But I'm going to move my playhead forward two seconds. Now, to show you how I'm doing that, right now I see that I'm at four seconds and 12 frames. So I'm going to move it to six seconds and 12 frames. All right, so now I'm going to click on the Add a Keyframe button. Now all the keyframes are still at 100% right now, but I'm going to change this red one that I'm on to 50 by highlighting the 100 and just typing in 50 and hitting enter. And now you can see the clip behind it and the clip through it. But if I move my playhead forward, you'll see that it starts to get le less opaque because it's going back to 100% on this last keyframe. So I need to go to the last keyframe and change it to 50 and hit enter between the first two keyframes you go from 100 to 100 
then you fade to 50 and you stay at 50. Now that I'm done, I'm going to close it out by clicking on this X. And now I can go ahead and preview the video. And you got super imposed video. All right, guys, that's it. If you like the content I'm bringing to you, you know what to do. Hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Leave me your comments. You know I love answering your comments and questions because I'm always here to help out my power director peeps. And last, but definitely not least, if you want to see content like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe. So hit the subscribe button, all right? That way you will not miss out on any of these great Power Director tutorials that are going to help you bump up your video production game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.